welcome back millville foodies we are back in the kitchen again and before you do anything if you're not a part of this community i need you to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button now you do not want to miss what is coming out of millville um so i've been trying to stay in the season of the holidays and i know a lot of people like to bake and make different sweets for the holidays whether it's thanksgiving or christmas so we're going to be kind of focusing in that area for the next couple of videos so this next video that i am going to be doing i'm going to be doing a chocolate chest pie yes you heard it listen chocolate is my weakness okay it is however i have not done a chocolate pie in a minute and my boys was asking me um could i make one and i said boy <laughs> you shouldn't have said that because honey we about to get it cracking up in this kitchen and y'all this pie is so easy to make it's it, it's not a lot of ingredients you just measure everything correctly and honey you're gonna have the perfect pot so for our ingredients we have our eggs our butter we have and i now you can use a regular pie shell but i always use deep dish because when i make my filling they're always they always run over um in those little pie shells and plus i like the i like the extra shell i like crust so um you can use a regular pie shell but i have a deep dish um our sugar our cornstarch uh, we have our evaporated milk we have our cocoa we have our vanilla extract and we have our salt and eggs and i think i said butter but we'll see it again um so i'm gonna let you guys know the measurements of everything i'll even put it in the description because i know a lot of people be like why you don't put out stuff in the description listen i'll be tired honey it's my kitchen i do what i want just look at the video i'm telling you in the video <laughs> but whatever i'll do it because you asked because i love y'all thank y'all for subscribing yes and watching these videos we really do appreciate y'all in nailville so stay tuned honey we'll be right back all right, you guys, so we are back to get started with our chocolate chest pie. Like I told you before, this is a very simple and easy recipe. Um, if anybody that does any type of baking or anything like that, you're going to have the ingredients already, you know, in your cabinet. So we're going to start out with the dry ingredients first. And so we have one and one fourth cup of sugar. And then to that, we're going to add um, one fourth of unsweetened cocoa powder. Make sure you get all of it out because sometimes it'll stick. All right, and then we're going to add one fourth teaspoon of salt. And our last dry ingredient is two tablespoons of cornstarch now you can also use flour but i like the consistency of cornstarch and this is just going to help it thicken up guys i'm telling you this gonna taste like a brownie inside a shell do you hear me so we got that in there and what you want to do is just get all of that mixed up and it's also going to help alleviate some lumps because you don't need a mixer for this. If you just got one of these little hand mixers, you don't need a electric mixer, I should say. But if you got one of these hand mixtures, the job will get done with that. And guys, it already smells good. It smells like a chocolate pie already. So we're just getting out kind of the lumps, getting all the dry ingredients mixed together. All right, and so next we want to add 15 ounces of evaporated milk, 15 ounces. Now, normally the cans come in 12 ounces, so you're probably gonna need um, a little more from another can. Um, I do have a little secret. I always use the 12 ounce can 
of evaporated milk. This is what I did not put on camera is sweetened condensed milk. See, if you want the secret, you gotta watch the video, honey. So I'm gonna put about three ounces and that should be enough of that. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's gonna be like a brownie in a pie shell. Getting this mix real good. Next, we want to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And also one fourth cup of melted butter. And one fourth cup of melted butter, guys, is a half a stick of butter. Got that incorporated. And last but not least, we have our three eggs that were lightly beaten. So we're just gonna add our eggs in there. Oh, and I meant to tell you guys, my oven, I preheated my oven to 350. So now y'all see why I always get a deep pie shell. Cause if you notice, if I prop, if I did the regular pie shell, I probably could make two pies with this. So you preheat your oven because you want to put this in the oven for 45 to 55 minutes, guys. And it smells so good. So now we're gonna bring over our pie shell and we've been letting our shell sit out so it could thaw out. And now we're going to add our filling. Now you guys see why I do deep dish? And we still have a little of the filling left that I really want in this pie. Awfully bad. Boom, perfect. All right. So guys, now the trick is moving this pie from my table to the oven without me spilling any of it, okay? So what we're going to do, we're gonna put this in the oven. Like I said, it's gonna take 45 to 55 minutes. Um, just check your pie and we're gonna do, you know, the little toothpick in it to make sure it comes out clean. So we'll be right back after our pie is done. Okay guys, so we are back. And as you see, honey, this chocolate chest pie is done. Don't it look so good? Let me give you a close up. It's hot, y'all. It's, it's still hot. Um, so that's why I haven't cut it yet. I will cut it and put pictures of what it looks like on the inside. And when I cut it, um, so you can see the texture of it. I'll put that at the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I told you this was such a simple recipe. I do want to tell you this because this was deep dish. I cooked it longer than 55 minutes. I cooked this sucker for uh, one hour and 20 minutes, guys, because it's so thick and rich. And plus I added my secret weapon that I didn't put on camera. 
and I'm not going to tell you what it is again, just in case you wanted to come to the end of the video. No, baby, you got to look and see what I did. I put that little extra cream in there. And so the consistency of it um, causes it to be a little thicker and takes it longer to cook. And the fact that it's in a deep dish. So, honey, you got you a deep dish chocolate chest pie. Do you hear me? So, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment. Give me suggestions of other things that you want to see. I am preparing to do a pecan pie. Hopefully, I can get that done tomorrow. I've been super busy. But thank you all for staying faithful, tuning in, subscribing. Those numbers are going up, and I really do appreciate y'all. So, and also remember, honey, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. And remember, it's your kitchen. Do what you want.